the Bond experience heads to one of my favorite James Bond cities, Siena, Italy. David Zaritsky for the Bond experience. We're not only here at Catronita's Fountain in Siena, Italy. Yes, we're here, one of the meccas of Jay's Bond locations. You can hear all the noise coming. But this street ushers in this tunnel right here. And this archway actually is the archway that Bond, when he drives his Aston Martin, enters into Siena. You remember it from the movie, I know you do. It's basically where they have that establishing shot and the crane rises to show us you are in Siena, Italy, and you see those amazing titles. First of all, you can tell from my face, it's hot today. It's like hot, hot. So it's you know towards the end of May in Italy, it's warm. But one of the things I'm doing is I'm wearing the Sebastian, you can tell by the cut in the arm from all of our brown, but it's their new sports Sebastian. So this is basically the polo. It's made of a sports material. And you can see it's got some very interesting lines. Now the reason I'm showing you all this detail is because Bar Brown and I picked this one because we were trying to get a really decent Quantum of Solace outfit. I think we did pretty good. So we're not wearing the same exact kit from the movie, but we put together an approximation because, let's face it, I wasn't going to wear a Tom Ford suit in this degree weather, but I needed something cool, and this has got this cooling, wicking away material. So we're gonna survive today very nicely. First of all, this is great. The Via S. Agata is right here, so you wanna look for that area. But if we very carefully move over here, I'm gonna show you a view that is perfecto. Okay. So this is the view the location scouts, location scouts wanted. They wanted that view in the back. You can actually see the tower um, above. It's a little bit of foreshadowing, a little, a little kind of experience yet to come. But this was the beautiful way of the Aston Martin. But of course, it was heading to a very specific area. So why don't we just go and show you Bond and Mr. White's destination. Let's hit it. So here we have the MI6 safe house. This had to be one of the first stops that we made because I'm geeking out. It's one of the coolest, coolest scenes in the entire movie. Hold on. By the way, talk about a Bond moment. That was a Vesper going by. To the boom. I'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but here it is. Not only does the Aston drive in, if we get a little bit closer, this has not changed since when they filmed in 2007. They still have the, um, the, the diamond shaped cutouts here. These are the same wood doors. And if we get a little bit closer with the camera, you can actually see, this is unfortunately all locked up. We can't go in here, it's a service tunnel. But in here, you could see the, the brick on the ceiling. That is indelible of when the Aston Martin is driving through, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you can see even the flooring, and by the way, this is tight, so that means if we pull back a little bit, we'll keep pulling back so we can see the whole entrance here again. Um, that was a tight, tight maneuvering for the Aston Martin. Not only did they have to maneuver around this street, they actually had to maneuver into here, which would have been very difficult. And of course, you see Bond walking up here uh, in his Tom Ford suit. So again, it's one of these amazing moments where we get to see the place. Very cool. Let's just take a look here.
Okay, as you can see by that quick runaround, we are in the Piazza de Campo. This is where the uh, Palio horse races take place. Obviously, thankfully not taking place right now because there would be thousands of people. But this is where one of the coolest scenes in Quantum of Solace happens. Probably one of my favorite Daniel Craig set pieces. So basically, he would have come out of some sort of like sewer grating over here. And clearly that doesn't exist. There's a couple of places where it looks like they could have either faked it or done that piece on set. But essentially what he does is he comes running this way towards this way. And the reason we know that is there was a fence there. So if we come on down this way, he would have kept running. He would have obviously been chasing, chasing, and chasing. You're literally following the footsteps of James Bond. So here, there would have been gates. Now they did take the gates down. For some of you visitors, the gates were there, but essentially what he does is he vaults over them like this, and he just starts running towards this door. So let's head to the door. Now what's great is we've identified this door. Because of a lot of the different markings, the markings on the door as well as the arch and the side metal parts. So once they run into there, that's when it gets a little dodgy. There's one more scene where they're looking out here and then it goes right to a set, it goes to Pinewood. Um, because from there on, even in the tower, the tower up here is supposed to be a representation of the tower that they fight into, but that was not done here. That was done on set. We're still going to take a look at the tower because it was sort of replicated in certain aspects, so you're going to see some very familiar things about it. So Mitchell and Bond would have run through here, and they did film this coming into here. And you can see the same archways, obviously these haven't changed for thousands of years. They will not have changed since Quantum of Solace in 2008. Very epic, very cool. Well, that's all we're going to show you of Siena because, listen, there's so much to see. The, the door that Bond walks behind and, uh, you know, where he jumps on the bus. There's just too much to see. And again, it's a family vacation, so there's only so much. But I think this was a taste and we've got to move on. How do I know we have to move on? Because guess what? We're not in Siena anymore. We're in Cortina. Yes, these are the mountains of Cortina where we're staying. And how do I know it's Cortina? Because over my left hand shoulder is none other than the ski jump from For Your Eyes Only. How's that? We can actually see it from our deck. So we will see you very shortly for James Bond's Cortina in Italy. We'll see you very soon. Oh, hey, you're still here. Hi. Didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor. Move.